Good morning, gardening friends. It's now, let's see, the 27th, March 27th. You notice a couple of different things. For one, we've got a squirrel in the complex. For two, I'm showing you a different area that you don't usually see. And for three, we're in high def. Well, I borrowed the camera, so let's see how well this works. It's basically for a week. So we'll get a little nature video going here, huh? Let's just watch our friend. Let me see if I can zoom. Sorry about that. Looks like we lost focus. Oh. Okay, so let's call him Sammy. Sammy the Squirrel. He went around the corner, so I decided to come back to my patio. We'll catch some more of him later. Uh, on the tomato plant, which I always start on, I just want to let you know, yesterday I counted and we're up to 25 tomatoes on this beast. Don't know if it's any clearer you're doing it in high def now. I basically got five down here, five up there. Oh, like three of them here and some more behind that. We've got some more up along there. We've got a couple over here. And I think we even have a small one up there. So I don't know how well you could see all of that, but we won't waste too much time on the tomatoes. Um, oh, tomatoes waste? Not really. I love my tomatoes. By the way, thanks to the uh, friend who actually sent a video about my tomatoes. Um, I haven't actually watched it yet, but I think I've actually seen it before. Um, but I'll take a look at it, uh, just as a reminder to what I can do besides watering and spanking. Um, those of you that have been watching know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the planter. So we've got the lettuce, the Simpson uh, black seed lettuce. We've got the uh, uh, spinach doing nicely. We've got what appears to be the Malabar spinach uh, starting to grow. We've got uh, some chard, Swiss chard. Still nothing in terms of basil, although somebody just gave me some more basil seeds, so we'll see how that works. We've got our nasturtium along with some of the others, and I'll just kind of pan across for the rest of what we've got here. There were a couple of developments in the garden. Most notably, as I swing around here, you see I got those two pink pots stacked up. Uh, I basically gave up on the tomato cuttings. So, uh, I'll figure out what I want to plant. Uh, one of them will be those basil seeds that I was just given. Um, but that's pretty much it for on the patio. Let's see what we've got outside. So usually this is the next area I show you, and the petunias are gone because it's been replanted. And in fact, on Monday the 25th, we had our landscapers out here refreshing the entire thing. So let me just kind of come around this way, so you can see how much nicer it looks. And if I swing up, you can see where these planters are. Get a nice shot there. Um, actually, I think they need some water, that's what it looks like. Let me come back down Let's see what we've got over here. We've got the bush that's just not doing well. Um, you can see where I put the petunias temporarily. i got to figure out what to do with all of this. I've got one of the lilies from the north courtyard sitting here. I think I'm going to divide one of these lilies. And now let me swing over and I'll tell you where I'm going to put it. Uh, so you can kind of see, not a whole lot growing. It just kind of makes me think these big planters were actually a mistake. Um, so I'm going to have to pull some plants out, try and save them, put them in smaller pots. And if I can, what I'm going to do is that lily, if I break it up, if it's the right kind of lily, it likes full sun. So we got these two planters here, but I think what I'm going to do is hit the 99 cent store. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, get a couple of couple more of these, although I can't get the uh, hummingbird feeders, which were smaller anymore, so I'm going to have to get the actual tomato planters. Um, I'll put them up. I'm going to need a little bit more soil. That's another bit of a cost for the budget gardener. But uh, 
we'll put something together and maybe plant a couple of, once I divide the lilies, put a couple of them up there. So that's what that looks like. Ooh, let's take a look at the pool. Yes, folks, that used to be a swimming pool. I'm going to have to back out so you can actually see the trees. Just realizing how nice a shot this actually is. If I can get a little elevation, I could get the trees in there. So that should give you a rough idea what this looks like. Well, you're seeing some stuff you don't normally see. Anyway, that's it for the south end. So now we're in the north courtyard. And this one's really looking bad. It's got a couple of green leaves there. Oh well. Um, I'm trying to stay on top of it the best I can. That's over, what's over here. I'm going to swing over here. You can see i got a lot of the plants that used to be in the big planter. I've moved them over temporarily while I figure out what to do. There's the other uh, lily there. But this is what the planter now looks like. And they were nice enough to put a Nandina in front of the gas meter. So in a couple of years that thing will be uh, hiding the gas meter. But we'll keep it cut back so that there's no danger to the actual device. That's pretty much it for this update. Um, let me see how much more of the squirrel I can catch. We'll see how much more of Sammy I can catch. Good morning, gardening friends. It's now March 30th, at about 11.15. And yesterday, I actually tried to shoot this, only to realize they hit the button sort of out of sequence. Um, like I said, it's a borrowed camera, so I'm still kind of getting used to it. And actually, I'm going to have to return it soon, so... This may well be some of the last stuff I shoot, but uh, basically what happened is it's kind of like you hit it to turn it on and you think it's on, and apparently I turned it off, uh, or rather I turned it on inadvertently, and I got pictures of me walking through my apartment to go out to shoot the next segment, so anyway, um, uh, let me sort of give you the update uh, on what we've got here on the tomato plant. Uh, last count, there were over 25 tomatoes growing on this thing, so I am just absolutely stoked at uh, what I'm going to get out of this. So i got to keep it watered, and uh, I keep spanking it, and I'm really happy. Um, that's that. Let me kind of show you the rest of the planter, the big planter here. Um, we've got the chard is growing nicely. I mean, not big leaves yet, but at least I've got something. And then we've got the Malabar spinach is really starting to grow. And we've got uh, over here with the uh, black seeded Simpson lettuce is growing nicely. The spinach is doing beautifully. Still nothing as far as the uh, basil. Don't know why. Maybe there's something about how I'm doing it. And we've got our nasturtium, and I'll just kind of give you a view of the rest of everything around here. You can see it's all growing fairly nicely, except the things that haven't sprouted yet, uh, didn't sprout last week, still aren't sprouted. Um, there was an update as far as the tomatoes. I don't know if I actually gave you that before, but you can see the pink uh, pots there. I basically pulled all of the cuttings because they just weren't growing and when I pulled them out there was no sign of any root growth so I gave up on those but I did do some work yesterday out on the uh, out in the um, courtyard replaced a couple of the hanging planters and you'll see that in a minute um, but I also wanted to tell you about the uh, experiment now this will be in the time lapse also but you can see that one of the uh, beans has popped. That popped a couple of days ago. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was I've got my uh, grass over here. And you might say that part of the reason for the grass is that the grass was actually watching grass grow. It grew faster than my experiments. So people talk about watching grass grow. Well, that stuff popped up nice and quick. So. Uh, I'll put that in place at some point. Um, can't really explain all that's going on with that, but uh, that's it for the grass. Um, and we'll see if we come up with anything else for today.
So here's what we're gonna, this is gonna be the main focus of today's work is these two planters hanging here. Um, the real problem, nothing seems to grow in them um, and now they're starting to look worn out again. Um, I keep replacing them so what I've actually done is gone to the 99 cent store and purchased two of the tomato planters because I can't find the hummingbird planters anymore. Um, so these are gonna be replaced with green ones and this will be the grand sort of experiment and I'll show you what I'm going to put in them. It's going to take a little work, but the first thing I'm going to have to do is to, um, while I move over to show you something else, um, I have to empty out the dirt and let it dry out a bit. Um, I've got the other planters over here, most of which are really not doing much. Over here, I mean, we've got one. It's worn out. It's, you know, or bleached out. And uh, you can see there's a plant in there. That's a f 4 o'clock. Um, but that's about the only one on this side of the building that has anything in it. And if I come around you can see the office. The office is doing okay with the nasturtium although I need to trim it a little bit and uh, get it some more water. And if I come back around and you're really kind of getting the view of the whole building. These, let's see how they're doing today. They were a bit neglected and yeah they were starting to dry out so I gotta get them some more water today and maybe throw in a little bit of fertilizer. Um, but so these I'm gonna leave alone because they're on the back side of the building and they don't really have a problem. At some point what I want to do is get these big planters. I'm probably gonna tear them apart. Um, it was something I really wanted to do with these planters and then just run them all the way across like that but it's so much work to build them to acquire materials on a budget um, and then to fill them with dirt and if I put too many plants in the plants can interfere with one another so um, down here I've got a lily oh I've still got the petunia that one's still alive I'll have to see what I can do to give it a little help but uh, I've got these lilies I got a couple of pots and so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna divide this lily and I'm gonna use two of the divisions up in that the first two planters I showed you so that's the plan for today. Let's see how well it works out. Okay, so I've played a little bit of musical planters. There's no more planters up here. You can obviously see that I've got uh, the dirt now lying out just to kind of dry out a bit. That's what I usually do. Not sure if that's really what I need to do, but uh, let's see. Yeah, this planter over here used to be sitting over there on the right. So basically what I do is I took the one that's on the right from here and I put, like basically it's a swap, those two. So the one on the right and this one, uh, that allowed me, I'm trying to think actually, no, sorry. That one over there used to be one of the planters up over here. It used to be the one on the right here. So now it's sitting on the right there. Um, Something like that. Anyway, I moved a bunch of planters around. Obviously, if you look at these, you can see that they're uneven left and right there, uh, top to bottom, I mean. Uh, so, uh, ultimately, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna replant, uh, replace all of the planters on this side of the building with the green ones, which you'll see soon. So, for the moment, I'm gonna let the dirt over here cook. The gardeners are here, you probably hear that in the background. Um, but I'm going to let that cook for a couple hours and then I'll come back and I'll put them back together. Well folks, here we are a few hours later. I got two of them planted. I decided, uh, actually somebody suggested that I leave them down below. I'm just going to try and give you a little bit of a close up there. That I leave them both down below because it would just be easier to water them and track them and make sure they survive the transplant. Um, and then once I know that they're healthy we'll put them back up on the hooks up there so that's the uh, these planters um, the other one I'm trying to think oh yeah I apologize folks I've been really tired lately um, the other one is now sitting over there with all the rest of that stuff it's been I don't know how well you can see it's going to try and get it kind of in the center of the frame um, so that's about a third of the original plant sitting in the original pot, which you can actually see now. And meanwhile, uh, I decided to pull the petunias back out here to the nursery. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more than simple TLC to get them back, but uh, that should be it for today. We'll see what happens tomorrow. 
Okay, folks. So, this is probably some of the last shooting I'm going to do, because I'm going to return the camera tomorrow. But uh, I went out today and I got something. Um, I've been watching the Buttercrunch lettuce, and I've been watching the, the Pac-Man broccoli. Uh, the Buttercrunch, it's just looking like it's just going to be a really tricky thing to try and harvest the seeds and all the rest of that, so that I can plant it again and wait for it to grow. Well, there's a much simpler sort of solution to that. And here we go. That is to go out and buy some that somebody's already started. So, uh, and since the basil is just not doing anything, and sorry about the sun there. Since the basil is basically not doing anything in those two, um, I got the butter crunch to replace the one that I've been waiting on, and I got some red leaf lettuce, and I'm gonna plant that in there. So this is gonna be mostly salad greens in here. Uh, except for the tomato and the nasturtium, which actually in a sense is a salad green. So really it's going to be salad with tomatoes in this entire planter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and transplant that and I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay folks, so the planting is done. And uh, well, I'll just kind of give you a little bit better view. You can see I put all four <laughs> in each one. The butter crunch kind of fell over a lot. Uh, it wasn't really, it was just kind of limped over. So I'm hoping that basically now it's transplanted, it will get through shock fairly soon. And I need to figure out about watering it, whether I want to put any uh, fertilizer in to get it a good head start. But I need to look at these two uh, varieties of lettuce and see if they require lots of fertilizer or if they specifically shouldn't. And I need to pull the plant cards off in front of those two sections. As for what's still over here, I'll deal with the butter crunch um, with the box later. In fact, actually, now that I think I can take the plant card from there, put it over there, it's going to create one for the red leaf lettuce. And uh, we'll leave the broccoli alone for now. That was part of the sort of question there. Um, broccoli seems to be reasonably well going to seed. Uh, yeah, I guess I could give you a little better look. Just sort of trying to wrap up here. So that's the uh, what it looks like right now. I mean, tiny little seed pods. But uh, we'll wait for it to grow a little bigger and then start drying out. And at that point, then I'll be able to uh, let it dry out further and then harvest the seeds and then plant them. Um, honestly, when I went to go look at the garden center uh, to see about options... I did look for the broccoli, but uh, they had, I don't think they had any broccoli in the three different garden centers I went to today. But they did have at the last one, they had the butter crunch, and so that's why I went with the butter crunch. And while I was trying to figure out what to do, I spotted the red leaf lettuce, which I use for making salads a lot, so I went ahead and got that. So, plus I'll have the uh, Swiss chard in the back there, um, and actually there's a little bit more over here. So, I'm going to be pretty well set for making salads, assuming that I haven't overcrowded and just killed them right off the bat. That's it for now. Uh, I guess that's it for the episode. So, until next week. I'm signing off now, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Just another little thought. I uh, just wanted to show you that the ginkgo trees are actually coming back. You can see all these little buds on the tree. They basically go completely bare over the winter, and then they start with these buds, and in a few months they're just going to be filled with leaves.